So this is a continuation of the roller pin curl. So I've completed my stand-up pin curls, my clockwise and counterclockwise flat pin curls, and my on base rollers. I'm now going to move to my half off base. Again, one diameter at the center to just less than a diameter at the outside, keeping a curved up section, following the natural curve of the head. I'm still brick laying. And now half off base means 90 from the center of your section. I'm still using the same diameter rollers. It is okay to change diameter size if the hair is shorter. So half off base tool position now. And you'll do two rows of half off base. So one diameter, half off base. Okay, one more row of half off, measure one diameter in the center to less than a diameter at the hairline, keeping a curved shape. Continue to brick lay and continue with a half off base tool position for this row. And it's perfectly fine to vary the length of your rollers to fit your shape because the diameter is still the same even though your length will change. Half off base, 90 from the center of the base. Roll to sit half on, half off the bottom parting. Now my last row, I'm gonna change diameters because the hair is shorter and it is basically one diameter of my gray rollers. This row is going to be off base. Continuing to brick lay. Off base means 45 degrees below the center of the base so that your tool sits completely below your party. An off base tool position can only be positioned properly at the hairline. 
either at the back or the sides. And because we already have our pin curls at the side, this is why the off base for rollers is going at the hairline. So this completes roller pin curl set to meet government criteria for second period exam.